This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents the mounds of molten lava flowing from them, converging, crawling towards homes. And how long is it going to go on? Disaster with no end in sight. How bad could it get? Do we know? This is mind blowing stuff. I recently read a story. Hawaii's Big Island remains under high alert. We're going to get right to our top story on this Sunday the active volcanoes. Unfolding disaster. Growing threat to life. That could get even worse. And just a few moments ago, a volcano has erupted again. The earth literally shifting underneath. Kilauea, this is a very active volcano. There is no end in sight to the eruptions. Sending a mountain of spattering lava, ominously crawling down neighborhood streets. Burning through trees and bubbling up in neighborhoods miles away. One of the first fissures erupted this week miles away from the Kilauea volcano. Yeah, it's amazing to see the sheer power that nature has when things really come together in this way. It was so powerful. It was thunderous. I mean, it was just like... And just after that, a 6.9 magnitude earthquake rocked the area. You guys all right? You guys, half of you are so afraid of... A 6.9 magnitude quake Friday, the it's biggest awesome. in Hawaii since 1975. This isn't stopping. Come here, son. This man grabbing his baby as his home started to shake. Oh, my God, guys. Yeah. Hundreds of earthquakes as well. I need to evacuate now. It's like, it's like a, a war zone. zone. Sparks violently spurting into the air with two new lava vents erupting overnight. Yes, yes that's, that's right. right. The lava poured out onto neighborhood streets, stacking up to almost 10 feet tall in some places. Forcing many people to flee their homes as lava moves downhill, burning everything in its path. A state of emergency is in place. Some smaller cracks open in the streets that officials are keeping a very close eye on this morning. This one, I give it my whole hand inside. From this crack, comes like this, comes around. And this is not no small cracks. This is a good one. Oh, we felt that earthquake too. Yeah, foundation shifted. We have some new video just coming in, a view of a new fissure, a crack in the earth, from which lava is spewing forth one of many new fissures that's opened up. You just take a look at that mess that's on television right now. It is a total catastrophe. Yeah, look at this new aerial footage of lava flowing into electrical lines, which then explode. You have an administration fighting to protect this lava has left a path of destruction as it flows into streets and people's homes. Hawaii's governor activating the National Guard to help the community get to safety. Ten fissures now open, all running along a line here in these two neighborhoods. When I saw the number, I said, there must be a mistake. How can that happen? Caused, we're told, by the underground shifting of the magma. And there are still several vents, which are openings in the Earth's surface, spewing fire, steam, and lava. We could hear this la the lava exploding right from the house. You know, and just erupting like a jet engine, and then it, was, it sounded like bombs. Four volcanic vents have opened up. Three of the vents opened up near a residential area. The other opened up in a forest where the bubbling lava has burned trees and bushes to the ground. The advance is relentless and unpredictable, changing direction without notice. Making all this worse, these fissures are also spewing toxic gas into the air. And that's what we're seeing here is all of that gas, ash, and magma rising up through the surface. Concerned they've set up roadblock after roadblock like this. Cars lining up with people being turned away, told the air quality makes it too dangerous to get much closer. In fact, mandatory evacuations are in place for more than a thousand residents. With no idea when they may return. Okay, we're out of here. Okay, mandatory evacuations underway. The police came down our driveway and just said we had to get out. Police keeping Haas and other residents out, pointing to the risk not only from the eruptions, but from toxic sulfur dioxide gas still pouring into the air. The toxic fumes still hanging in the air, this morning creating what officials call an immediate threat to life. I smelt it and I ran to the corner and that's when I ran into a military officer that told me that it's smoking and I sure as heck enough take the turn and one of my favorite streets at least <laughs> was on fire. It was really intense. There was a lot of people moving around going this way and that way and people aren't sure if they need to get to their house or where it was at or like nobody really knew what was happening until I took that aerial footage. It smells um like a campfire, like something's definitely burning. But when you were there in the neighborhood, there was 
a lot of sulfur and smoke in the air. Now, warning residents who chose not to evacuate, if they end up needing help, they may be on their own. Conditions there are so dangerous, even first responders are not going in. Over 14,000 residents are now without power after the local power plant closed due to safety concerns. We have a lot of problems, you know. Fear continues that more earthquakes and volcanic eruptions could take place. All worried their homes like this one could be destroyed. There is a house going to still be there when we go back over there? We're going to have our wall. And it doesn't stop here. As earthquakes and eruptions continue from the Mount Kilauea volcano. With officials anticipating more eruptions and more earthquakes. Which means this could last for weeks. And how long is it going to go on? Disaster with no end in sight. There is no end in sight to the eruptions. How bad could it get? Do we know? Nothing can survive this smoldering blanket. The National Guard is set up and ready here for the possibility of more evacuations because they have no way of knowing where the ground could open up next. This magma will continue to rise and it'll take any exit it can find outside of this volcano. This ash cloud can really affect weather for a period of time to the point where we're now saying it's affecting the climate. Yeah. Which will play a role. Check it out in triple digit heat. We're really toasting things up in some areas. The tinder fire near Payson, Arizona, exploding in size from just a few hundred acres to more than 8,000 acres since it sparked up late last week. The eruption comes after hundreds of earthquakes rocked the area since Monday. Notice here, they're falling out of the sky. That's the ash that comes down, the white stuff that you see, and that stuff doesn't go away. I mean, it's little pieces of rock, you know, right. it's not like it's going to melt or evaporate into the atmosphere. So that can cause huge problems in the near term. Shaking the island and spewing molten rocks and dangerous gas into neighborhoods. Not even just the areas around it. It can travel really, really right. long distances, depending on how fast that wind is blowing and especially how small those particles are. <laughs> But their main concern is about that lingering danger from sulfur dioxide seeping from these fissures. These cracks are toxic gases rising from the molten rock that authorities say is too dangerous to breathe. And uh, we need to take this pretty seriously. This is by no means over. This is the front line in a battle between the elements. You can see lava in the distance Whoa. spewing out of a crack oh. in the street. Outside of paradise, oh, living in paradise. Terrifying. Pack up your surfboard and move along. They're talking about volcanoes. They're talking about a worst case scenario and the volcanoes in Hawaii. You're just gonna sit there on your buttocks, yippee yapping about politics. What are you, stupid or something? But this is when things here get really crazy. This substance here called pyroclastic flow. This is the really thick lava that comes out. This can travel up to 400 miles per hour. And this is so hot. We're talking like 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit that it will literally demolish anything in its path. So these are not something that you want to take a right. chance with. Schools and several roads have been closed. But look, Google this word, pyroclastic yeah. flow. And uh, if you are ever called to evacuate for this reason, you, you should probably listen. Do it. Yeah. Do it. So as as you may or may not know, the Atlantic hurricane season technically starts on June 1st. That's, That's a fight. What you gonna do? Kind of asked the question, how do we live so close to these things? We've got to be concerned about protecting the public. Now, it's back to reality. Well, I mean, what do you want me to do, lie to you? I don't know what's going on. God. Thank you for your community. Man. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby.